This is Linda Ferris. Linda, welcome to Studio 10. Thank you. It's great to be here. Well, thank you so much for being a part of our show. Tell the folks a little bit about yourself and where you're from, Linda. Well, I grew up in North Alabama in Walker mm -hmm. County, and we have lived in Virginia, Louisiana, Tennessee, and Kentucky. And came back home to Alabama. <laughs> and now you live in Fairhope, yes, correct? Yes, in Fairhope. Mm -hmm. And you've been spending your time working on this over here. Let me hold this up. This is a fantastic brand new cookbook called Recipes and Memories from Mama's Table. And I just did a quick Amazon search. It's on there. There's more information on our website, how you can pick this up. And Linda, flipping through this, I love the way that this is laid out. All the recipes are plain, clear. You can totally tell how to do them very easily. And one thing you've mentioned to me as well that you love is is the stories that you can find in this cookbook. Yes. Tell the folks all about it. Well, I've collected stories and recipes for years in all the places we lived. And I asked friends and family to send me stories about their memories of their mama's tables. And I got some really good ones. And then I <laughs> added my memories of my grandmothers and their stories of life at their homes and growing up. And uh, it just grew. It started out as a little project, and the backgrounds are a quilt that my mother made, mm -hmm. and they're on each page. And the one on the front, the egg beater, the old egg beater, and the old quilt there was sent to me by a friend from Birmingham, and that her grandmother made their quilts when they were born and gave them to them when they were married. Well, they always say write about what you know, and it sounds like you've shared with us some fantastic stories from your family, friends, and from yourself. And here's that background she was talking about. You can kind of see the quilt there. This is just a fantastic cookbook. Everybody has to take a look at this. What kind of recipes can we find in here? Everything. Mm -hmm. We have appetizers, vegetables, main dishes. We have a whole section of Christmas from Christmas Day on everything you need to know for a Christmas celebration. Hey, it's, it's not too late for a belated Christmas gift. This no, would be a perfect it's not. opportunity. We got to talk about what we're going to make here this morning. Briefly, just show us what ingredients we're going to use, and then we'll get started when we come back in the next okay. one. Okay, we'll use some cream cheese, mm -hmm. tomato soup. I have peppers and onions and celery. Mayonnaise, of course, in the, in the South, everything has to have mayonnaise in it. <laughs> <laughs> and some shrimp, salad shrimp. And uh, we'll mix it all up in a little bit. All right, sounds great. We'll be back to check in with Linda Ferris, the author of Recipes and Memories from Mama's Table, in just a little while, guys. Welcome back to the kitchen. We are on our great kitchen set with the author of Cookbook Recipes and Memories from Mama's Table, Linda Ferris. And we are making a delicious looking shrimp dip. If you guys could take a look at this right here, this is really going to liven and spice up your serving table. If you have guests over, and we're going to show you how to make it, you can pick up that recipe right now on fox10tv.com under the Studio 10 tab. And Linda, we've got all of our ingredients here. We talked a little bit earlier about what they are. What's the next step in this process? All right, I've been stirring some cream cheese, 12 ounces cream cheese. Okay. We're going to add a can of tomato soup. Okay. And we'll add a cup of mayonnaise. As I said, you have to have mayonnaise if you're from the South in most everything. That's what I hear. <laughs> Our chef yesterday mentioned that as well. It's good. <laughs> good stuff. We want to add two tablespoons of unflavored gelatin and just okay. kind of dissolve it in some water. I'm going to let that sit there and dissolve just a little bit sure. while we add a couple of other things. We'll okay. put in a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of white pepper. And we better stir that up. Okay. Then we're going to add a fourth a cup of chopped green onions, a cup of chopped celery, a cup of one bell, small or medium bell pepper, depending on how much you like it. Okay. And then we'll add our gelatin and our shrimp. All right. While we're mixing that up, let's tell everybody where they can pick up a copy of your cookbook. Oh, yes. Well, you can get them and my calendars and note cards also. I didn't mention that. Okay. I have a Flowers of Fairhope calendar and note cards from the Flowers of Fairhope, which it's famous for, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're all at Bay Candle uh, in Fairhope, down by, past Winsels on the bay. And there's also, you can get them from me, and that's on your website, mm -hmm. phone number and a website, uh, email address, or on Amazon. 
Okay. And like she mentioned, all of that information is going to be on our website. That's fox10tv.com on the Studio 10 tab. About how long does this whole process take to make this dip? Well, we're almost finished. Wow, okay. Once we get it all mixed up, and I'm going to put the gelatin in right now. Okay. Then we'll add the green ingredients, and you can chill it till it sets up, and you're ready to eat. Okay, so after we mix this up, we're going to put it in a mold, mm -hmm. and then we'll chill it. About how long would you oh, say? Oh, well, I would it? say I would give it eight hours. Okay, all right. Well, so we'll the flavors all blend really good, you know. Sure. Okay. So, or we'll overnight. mix this all up, and then we'll let you and Joe mold it in the next segment. How about that? All right, that? that'll be great. Okie doke. Make sure you check out that recipe on our webpage, foxintv.com on the Studio 10 tab. To our great kitchen set here on Studio 10, we are with Linda Ferris from Fairhope, the author of a fantastic new cookbook, Recipes and Memories from Mama's Table. Linda, it's been so nice having you on the show today. Thanks, it's been fun. You're doing a great job. So, remind the folks who are just joining us what we're making and where we're at in the process. Okay. We're making a shrimp dip for New Year's or any party, anytime you want it. I'm going to add two cups of shrimp to all the other ingredients that I've already put in and just fold them in. Then we're going to put it in the mold and it'll be ready to go chill. I've sprayed the mold with Pam. Okay. So hopefully it won't stick. I won't make any promises. <laughs> and like I said earlier, for those just tuning in, what else is in there besides the shrimp if they missed the earlier Okay, segments? it has a cup of celery chopped fine, a chop of, uh, of small bell pepper. It has a fourth cup of green onions and two tablespoons of unflavored gelatin, a cup of mayonnaise. 12 ounces cream cheese and a can of tomato soup, and I think that's all of it. And a teaspoon of salt, that's it. There we go, and you said it's good to let this show for about eight hours at least, just to let all those flavors come together. Yes, and if it doesn't set up, just put it in a bowl, serve it as a dip. It can be a mold or a dip. Sure, a mold or a dip looks fantastic, and like you mentioned, New Year's is coming up, there's a bunch of bowl games coming up, the big national championship with Alabama versus Notre Dame, you may want to have this on hand for yeah. your parties for that as well, so a fantastic dish, very versatile. Now, Linda, before we go, tell us once again about this cookbook. Can I grab this from you over I here? I wish you would. Recipes and memories from Mama's Table. This is what we're talking about this morning. This is brand new. How long did it take you to put this together? Ooh, I worked on it all year. All really year. hard. <laughs> and the thing about it is it's not just all year. It's kind of a lifetime to it come is. together because these are stories that you've accumulated from all the different places that you've lived and all the friends and family that you've had over the years. Yes, that's been, well, my husband and I have celebrated our 50th wedding anniversary. Congratulations. It's 50 years of collecting cookbooks, recipes, and stories. Wow, that is truly remarkable. A lifetime of memories, fantastic food, and recipes in this book, Recipes and Memories from Mama's Table. There's a website you wanted to share with us? Yes, it's mamas-table.net. You can see several samples, pictures, and stories, and things about my family. And in addition to the cookbook, you also have some calendars and a few other things? That's Flowers of Fairhope. Okay. I lo love living in Fairhope, and I love making pictures, and just started when we first moved there, making the pictures that the workers in Fairhope plant for us each year. Wow, look at that, just beautiful. They change every season and we really do enjoy them. So I've enjoyed, that's been a good thing. What a beautiful to calendar pictures. to have. You know what you should do is you should get the calendar, hang it in your kitchen while you're working on a recipe for Mama's Table. <laughs> hey, you're good. <laughs> that's, that's just an idea I had right there. Well, listen, thank you so much for thank coming you, in. Jill. We're going to chill that for a while, and we're going to eat it all later. Can't wait to try it out. Linda Ferris, the author of Recipes and Memories from Mama's Table. Guys, 